We did something called a kick sample today, which is a way of kind of capturing what lives in a river. We use the flow of the river to help push the animals that are living in there into the net. So if you see, you'll see that we kind of place the net, the net billows out, we kick in front of it to disturb the silt and the stones where the animals hide and then they flow into it. Empty onto our tray and see what lives there. We only did three or four little kick samples and we found some incredible creatures. My favourite are these bullhead fish, um, which kind of grow, the, the large one here, it kind of grows to about that length and they, they kind of really like the kind of chalk stream habitat of the River Wye. And that's another name of them is for Miller's Thumb. So you can imagine Miller's in the time, old, olden times going to be really beefy and strong and I think that's where the name came from. The other thing in here is there's lots of mayfly and other kinds of cre smaller creatures which are the food for the bullhead. So without them the bullhead wouldn't grow and you can see they're doing pretty well in this part of the river. So it's really nice to see and very exciting to find. Um, it was really cold but when you get used to it it's not very cold. Um, I learned about the safety of going into the river, like they put up ropes and stuff to help us get down and all this gear and stuff and also about uh, the fish and like how healthy the river was because we kept catching uh, lots of fish called bull, bullhead fish and they can get about to that size and I found one almost as big as they can go and we kept catching quite a lot and that meant the river was quite uh, good. It's all about preparation really, so we prepared depth, depth testers. Now we had spare sticks to do that which we marked every 15 centimetres so we get a good idea of the depth. So for example, one, one of the children couldn't go in with wellies because it would have gone over them. So you can tell, actually, is, are they going to kind of be safe going in? Okay, they could get wet wellies but it's not comfortable and also sinks you down. Um, you could do that but just with your, your fishing net and then mark them off. We also thought, well, how do we get into the river safely? So that's often a time where there's sli slipping and the, the entrance to that was quite steep. So we tied a rope around so we could, almost like mountaineers, climb down. So again, there's that, that, that safety element. There's also the, the point of realising that the river is unpredictable and, and in that river I almost tripped up because there was a hidden rock. And again, that point there where Okay, I had life jackets on and, and sometimes it's really sensible to wear life jackets, especially when we're working, and being clear that you're good swimmers. So it's been really thinking about those steps and then passing things down rather than carrying things into the river. Pass it down and you're reducing that chance of trip and you can drown very, very quickly if, you're, you know, if, if, um, if something untoward happens and, if, and looking out for each other. Don't do it on your own.